Hey guys, Jeff here, Aromatics, and I'm here with Christina, Hello Kitty Piper, and we're uh, just doing a, a video here, hanging out on a Monday, a nice warm Monday afternoon. We've had a, got our stuff done for the day, and we're just going to relax, and I'm going to have a cigar, and she's going to have a pipe, and today I am going to be smoking the Camacho Ecuadorian. So this was referred to me from a guy at a uh, place um, a little ways away from me called Cape or the Cigar and Pipe Emporium. So I'm curious to see what this tastes like and on the it smells like. Um, Christina said wet smelly horse. So <laughs> <laughs> and yeah I'm thinking barnyard maybe a little bit of manure but uh, that's yeah kind of that barnyard kind of smell that makes sense and on the cold draw I'm getting a woodsy nutmeg wet wood type of draw so and what are you gonna be smoking I'm smoking Scotty's pancake ah yes Scotty's pancake yep and uh, yeah so that's good and what are you pairing it with I'm having the Broadhead Brewing Company blueberry blonde beard because this tobacco has like a hint of blueberry so I thought it would pair well yeah so I wonder what it'd be like to play, pair blueberry with blueberry so sometimes it's good to to pair similar things and sometimes it's like the opposite like if you have a, something sweet then like something like a coffee or if you have something you know not sweet then you can have like something that's you know sweet to drink so anyway we'll see how that pairs I'm just having a good old-fashioned coffee that I brewed myself and roasted myself so yeah we're gonna sit back and light up and enjoy these and we're gonna be back in a little bit and I'll let you know how my cigar goes she'll let you know how the pipe tobacco goes and we might even talk about a topic probably what music we like because that was asked once in one of my VRs so all right we'll be back in a little bit stay tuned hey guys we're back and I'm a little ways down on my Camacho cigar and so far it is a medium bodied cigar medium flavor everything's medium the burn hasn't been the greatest uh, it seems like the filler is burning faster than the wrapper so I'm touching it up but that doesn't bother me I don't really rank cigars on that. I'm more into the taste. But if that matters to you, then yeah, it's uh, not smoking uh, the greatest. But it is, uh, I'm keeping it from canoeing and stuff, so that's good. Um, taste wise, uh, it's, there's a little bit of a saltiness to it. Um, the, everything's middle of the road. Like it's got this uh, a nice uh, woody um, flavor to it, uh, a little bit of. Um, A deep smokiness. I can feel a little bit of that, uh, like maybe nicotine catch in the back of my throat. And uh, there's a little bit of spice and a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> inside joke. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, I'm enjoying it. It's just a good, um, I expected it to be a little bit stronger. Uh, well, I'll leave that for the, my end of the review of what I think about, about it what I was just gonna say and so what are you smoking and how's it going um Scotty's pancake I don't know if it's the pipe but I'm not really tasting too much of it definitely not tasting blueberry in it you were you were but first you said you were tasting the pancake pancake right? and, and like pancake with maple syrup yeah and that's what that's what I find too but that pipe I've mentioned it before it's a Savinelli system pipe and for some reason I just get no flavor like very, it mutes flavor something terrible and and I have two of them so it's not that pipe in particular both of those pipes are identical and they both smoke they just mute the tastes um, there's only one blend I've, ta I've tried that that tasted really good in it um, and that was it was an aromatic called Cherokee and it smokes well in it but other than that I haven't found too many that do so I was hoping maybe we could break it in maybe it needs to be broken in or maybe it's the p-lip or the acrylic stem I have no idea but it's too bad because it is a really nice, I love everything about the, the pipe. It's just got a nice, <coughs> nice size, a nice bowl, and the stem is beautiful. And it yeah, just, like it looks really good. It just doesn't smoke very well. Mm, it just, yeah, it fits. You can just clench it between your teeth. But uh, I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give up on it. I'm gonna, maybe it just needs to be broken in or something. But Yeah, so there you go. I think you need to relight there. Get your Zippo? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, so I guess we were going to talk about, uh, who was it? It was uh, Beardless Gnome Joe was uh, asking one of his questions for my giveaway. Was what kind of what music? 
that I liked. Music and video games and movies. <coughs> I already did some movies. And for music, my number one favorite, absolutely, it would be, like, now would be, I love, uh, like, symphonic power metal type stuff. Like, Halloween and um, Dragon Force. Um, what other bands? Some more obscure ones. Uh, Rain Exceed. Um, Seventh Avenue. Iron Maiden-ish type of fit stuff where it's like dual guitars with good harmonies and a really majestic type of vocals. That's my favorite right now. But I listen to anything that's just catchy. Like I love, uh, um, my sister and I love to listen to the 90s, like ra you know, radio rock stuff, like in the punky kind of music that was out, like the bands like Lit or, um, uh, well I can't think of them, but just all, like Filter, that kind of stuff, um, Creed. Uh, collective soul, any of that kind of stuff, and j anything like some jazz, not much country though. Um, yeah, so what kind of music do you like? All different types, but mostly symphonic metal, like Epica, we share that in common. Yeah, Epica. Nightwish, Within Temptation. Now, Nightwish, um, Pipe Nook, uh, can't remember what his um, what his name is from Pipe Nook, but he was mentioning in one of his videos that he went to uh, a Nightwish concert. He's a big fan of Nightwish. That's like a female fronted, <laughs> yeah, like symphonic kind of, metal band. Yeah, and they're pretty good. Probably one of the first, like more popular in that yeah. style. Yeah, they kind of I wouldn't say they pioneered it, but um, they were one of the first though. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot more now. There's a ton of Bro, female so fronted. Many. Name some more. I like, could what, go on forever. Uh, Arch, Arch Enemy. Arch Enemy, in this yeah. moment. Um, I like Nemesis, and then there's that um, Amaranth. Yeah, Amaranth. Amaranth, <laughs> Amaranth yeah. Yeah, but any, like, as long as it's catchy and good, like I, I, I don't really put any kind of music down. I don't think. Uh, um, I'm not really a huge fan of like hip hop. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not rap, hip hop, none of that. Mm -hmm. Although there, might, there is still, um, I think I liked uh, a couple songs back then. I think Cypress Hill. I liked a little. I liked their album covers were pretty cool. Cypress Hill and, uh, but still for me, not just music, but I'm pretty picky like about lyrics. Uh, I don't like lyrics that are, that are offensive. Like when I'm listening to music myself, I want to find something that, um, that that sings about. Like I'm a lyric person. I, I can yeah. I hear lyrics and, and it's part of the music to me. Has so, like a good meaning. Yeah, something that has you know a good meaning or, or at least isn't offensive to me. There's just mm -hmm. some stuff I think is just way too offensive. Yeah, too yeah. offensive for me, and then I'll avoid stuff like that because it just bugs me when I'm listening to it. it yeah. Yeah, lyrics are like super important to me because I'm also a singer, so. Mm -hmm. I always like, if I like a song a lot, I'll start singing along to it a little bit. Yeah, for sure. How's your pipe? Going good? Yeah. Good? So, yeah. Anyway, so that's basically where we're at musically. So, uh, what kind of music do you guys like? You can let us know. Leave it down in the box. And all right, we're going to keep on smoking, and we'll be back in a little bit and let you know how our smokes are going. See you in a bit. Hey guys, we're here, we're back, finishing up our uh, our video here. I'm still smoking down my Camacho Ecuador cigar. And Hello Kitty Piper is finishing, uh, actually she changed pipes because uh, she wasn't getting much flavor out of the, the pancake in the Savinelli pipe. Mm. So we thought maybe we'd try uh, another, like a corn cob pipe and see if she tasted any difference. And what did you Yeah, you tasted a bit more. Mm. For sure, yeah. Yep, I find that that pan Scotty's pancake is uh, a little more. Uh, it's got some more tobacco flavor to it. It's. I, I think that there's some autumn evening mix like in there. I think that's actually what it is. It's autumn evening with some uh, blueberry uh, black Cavendish added to it. So it's got a little bit of like a, a cigarette-y kind of bite to it. And uh, but I, I, I enjoy it. It was one of my favorite aromatics at one time. But sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off. It's a little humid out, so I think that affects the taste of pipe tobacco. That's why I, I smoke more cigars in the, this hotter weather than, than I do pipes, so lately anyway. So yeah, so my Camacho cigar is, it's good. It, the flavors changed a little bit. They amped up a little bit after the, uh, the halfway point, and now I'm getting a, a, a deep earthy taste and some more spicy, some more spiciness to it. 
and it's now it's definitely medium to full getting on the full side and the nicotine I had to take a little bit of a pause because the nicotine was uh, getting pretty strong mm -hmm. it's killing you a little bit it was killing me a little bit I don't like to feel sick so no. I've, I've learned I've learned now instead of fighting through the nausea just just let it go out and relight it later there's it's it's not worth wrecking your enjoyment you know it's cigars are meant to be enjoyed so anyway it's getting windy and we're gonna this video has gone on long enough and uh, yeah so we're gonna go for a walk or something so that's my little uh, mini review of the Camacho uh, Ecuador cigar pretty good um, I might want to try it again or whatever but nothing too out of the ordinary just a very nice cigar I would definitely smoke it again but nothing uh, that stood out to me that would make me you know smoke it over some of the ones that I enjoy more so that's my take on that and yeah, so we'll see you guys in our next video, and we'll talk to y'all later. Aromatics and Hello Kitty Piper. So long. <laughs>